So today I'm just going to show you real quick here how to know when your corn is ready to be picked. That's one thing when I started growing corn, I'm like, how do I know it's ready? And I used to, you know, pull it back and check. So you don't necessarily want to be pulling back the husks because that encourages pests and worms and things to get in there and you don't want that. So I'm just going to show you real quick how you can tell when your corn is fully ready to be picked. So one of the first signs you want to see on your corn is that it is has kind of a black kind of, I don't know what they're called anyway, tassels, I guess. You want them to be black and dried up. And that's one way of being able to tell if your corn is ready. The other thing that I do look for is sometimes you'll find them where the tassels have actually fallen off. And that is a really good indication that this thing is sweet and ready to go. So those are the two things I look for um, to tell when my corn is ready because this did have some um, black tassels at one point and it you can see that they have fallen off. I'll show you corn um, that is not ready to be picked and I'll show you now what that looks like. So as you can see here, um, this is still, it's quite white a bit of a wind coming in and it hasn't turned black yet it's still wet you want it to be dried this is not ready um, I would say you would probably need another week possibly two for that to be ready here is another one you can see that it's starting to brown up but again you've got maybe one to two weeks of waiting we go over here um now this one here this is brown Kind of black this is really dry but this is not i wouldn't pick this yet i would wait for it all to be this this color here this dark brown to black so this is not ready i wouldn't try pulling any of this back because like i said if you pull um some of the husks back you're just encouraging pests to get in there and start eating your corn before it's even ripe and ready again we've got some um, until this is fully brown and black, I don't pick them. And even at a point where it falls off, that's when you know that your corn is really ready to be picked. As you can still see here, I have lots of corn um, that I'm still waiting on to ripen up. And as long as we don't get any good hard frosts, um, I'm going to have lots of corn to pick. And this is all done in just this tiny little space here. I don't know if you can see it. It's not too big. I've got one, two, three, four. I've got five rows. You always want to plant your corn in a square um, just for um, better pollination. But last night I came out and picked because we were supposed to have potential frost. And I picked about 50 or more um, cobs of corn. And as you can still see, there is so many more ready to come. So we're just praying for um, no more frost. We have one more night of potential frost tonight. But as you can see, we have lots of corn not yet ready. So that's the one tricky thing about corn. Um, making sure that it's ready before the frost comes. So as you can see, this one here is just about ready. I would say maybe in about two to three days, um, I'll come back out, check this corn. And this might be all black by then and dried up, or this might have fallen off. You can still see here the size of this is pretty, pretty decent sized corn, but you don't want to pick it too early. And the difference between them is that you're going to get a corn that is white, um, and not sweet and they haven't fully um, grown out yet so you're going to get kind of pointy kernels it looks kind of funny I could probably show you that actually now if you want um, and when they're ready they're going to be round yellow and full so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you just for the sake of showing you what a ripe corn looks like and what a not ripe corn looks like <laughs> So I just picked this cob of corn here um, just to show you what the difference, what they look like um, when they're not ready. And as you can see, there's some browning starting here, but it's not fully ready. You can see that. So I'm just going to pull it off. For, usually, for those of you that don't know, this is what a cob of corn looks like when it's not ready. And you can see here they're kind of pointy. Um, they, and it's very white. Um, there's not really any moisture in that whatsoever. So that is one that is not ready and you do not want to pick this type of corn. Now I'll show you one that is ready. 
So this is one that the tassels have completely fallen off and we're just gonna open that up and I'll show you what it looks like. And this is what corn should look like when it's ready. And that's why I wait until those tassels fall off or that they're really all dark brown to black. So you can see the difference here between them. So this is one that's ready now and this one would have been ready probably in about two weeks to pick. It is a lot smaller. Um, I picked it so that I wasn't wasting one of my good ones. But this is essentially, you can have small corn, you can have big corn, that doesn't really matter. So that's the difference of waiting just two weeks for your corn to be fully developed. So it might look like that it's ready, but um, waiting until they're brown or completely fallen off as this one was, you can see you've got a beautiful cob of corn here ready to eat. I hope you enjoyed that video on how to know when your corn is ready to be picked. Um, now it's time to go and prep that corn and I'm going to probably, I think I'm going to freeze it this year. I was thinking about canning it, but um, perhaps that will be something I do next year. There is so much stuff to can that I think I'm just going to maybe blanch that and throw it in the freezer. But um, once again, I want to thank you for joining us here at Plowman's Backyard. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.